Real quick before we get too deep into the video, I want everybody to know that this character Dolores, or Dolly as I like to call her, was actually created and designed by Ferocity over on DeviantArt. So if you guys want to go check them out, I highly suggest that they're great and they made such an amazing design. Okay, on to the video. <laughs> Good evening ladies and gentlemen, guys and dolls, this is Purple Zebra back with another art video. Now this is of course another art style video in lieu of my 10 art style video I did a few months back, around the beginning of 2019 I think. I've been wanting to do this one for a while and I was actually wanting to do it with 10 different YouTuber art styles, YouTuber artists that I actually do watch or that I know of, but I've been having some really really bad problems lately with both my computer and my tablet. So you'll see probably a lot of times during this, if you see me taking long, long pauses, that's probably because I'm trying to uh, fit the cord back in. <laughs> but yes, this is another art style video, and I decided to do it with four main art styles because surprisingly enough, when I was drawing out some of the art styles for the 10 one that I wanted to do, I actually found that like two or three of those art styles were very similar. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I'm not saying, oh my god, YouTuber artists have such similar art styles, I'm not saying that. But it's like, I, I didn't want to do things that were too similar, so I took like the four ones that were like the most different from not only my own art style, but from the other four. So I, I wanted to do that just to show like how different they all are. And I decided to use the character Dolly, who just recently uh, got designed by Ferocity, like I said. And I think she is so cute. I wasn't really able to get her whole dress in uh, in frame here because I, I kind of, how bad my uh, computer and my tablet were giving me problems. I kind of wanted to make it a little bit easier on myself and just go for like a bus shot. But you know, I, I, I still think it's really cute. And I, I found actually surprisingly while I was drawing Dolly that I actually drew her to uh, look a little bit older than Ferocity's initial reference. And I, th I think that's simply me understanding that because she's supposed to be a pyramid leader in my story, Stardust. Uh, and all the pyramid leaders are supposed to be, you know, older people. They're supposed to be, you know, CEOs, essentially. And yeah, she could be the youngest CEO, but I don't want to put her in the same bracket as all of the other heroes. Where it's like they're all around the same age, they're like 16 to like 22 around there. Well, oh, Sioske's 23, but he's like the outlier. <laughs> They're like 16, 21, stuff like that. So I, I wanted to make her look a little bit older, so I kind of straightened out her face a little bit more. But I, I think she looks real cute. And I, um, I really like uh, the mixture of colors, because I would never think of putting like a very dark uh, black next to orange and pink. <laughs> Especially that jacket. Like when I um, when I decide to like do a full reference for her, I'm gonna have such fun with that dress that Ferocity designed. Now, one of the YouTuber artists I definitely, definitely, definitely wanted to try out was Lavender Town. I really do like Lavender Town's videos, but not essentially for her art style per se. It's not that I hate her art style. I like her videos more for their information. Like she was someone who went to art school and all that. She knows how to put together a portfolio. She understands like how uh, she understands a lot about character design. And actually, um, while I was drawing this and then kind of referencing it back to my own uh, drawing of Dolly, I saw how much more this one was cartoony. Like that's. that's that's an easy thing to look at Lavender Town's art style and say, oh, that's really cartoony and stuff like that. But when you put it together with mine, which is more, I wouldn't say realistic, it's more like anime based, I would say. Uh, when you put it next to mine, it's like, you can definitely see where this character would fit into a cartoon. And that made me so happy because one of the things I've always, always wanted to do was to write my own cartoon. So that that, that just made me super happy. And the, the thing I found the hardest when I was doing these other art styles was that I don't, I realized like one of the hardest things to do is that you don't have, you don't have the control of the artist. So it's like your lines, no matter how similar you try to make them, will always look a little bit different. Like there's something about Lavender Town's lines that make them look almost a little bit messy, but at the same time purposeful. Like her lines aren't like mine where they're super thick and heavy. They're light, most of the time they're really light, but then uh, it, they're a little messy sometimes, especially on like the outside and stuff like that. And I, I couldn't get that kind of messiness to them that 
uh, she has, and I realize, like, I don't have the same control that she has over my pen. So it's like, it, it's really interesting to see that. But I think definitely the hardest thing to do with this one was to make all of the shading the same. Because what she does is she shades everything on the form the same, like the same color and stuff like that. I don't do that. <laughs> I, I just could not put the same thing that I shaded the hair and the skin with on the shirt because it made it look drowned out and I'm like, I need a better color for this next time. But I was actually really happy. After I finished, I was really happy with the way this one came out. Next up is a girl on YouTube who I think really deserves more subscribers, and that's Dolly Guts. I think that's really funny how I was drawing a character that I decided to name a uh, nickname Dolly, and then I went for Dolly Guts. Dolly Guts is definitely one of those people who I see who how confident she is in her own art style. Like everything of hers, like the moment you look at it, you know it's from her. I definitely think with this one that I did not shade the cheeks enough. I think that happened with Dolly, Lavender Town, and the fourth one that I'm gonna do. But it's just, it's so difficult for me because like for me, I shaded them really darkly. But looking from afar now, you can see it's like you can barely see uh, the red on the cheeks. And I'm like, dang it, I, I need to, <laughs> I need to stop. Uh, pussyfooting around with that. I need to like shade darker. <laughs> but I actually really, really like this one, and I adore the way she does her eyes. I absolutely adore it. Uh, she also does the really, really thin line art, which is again not something that I do, but I, I can appreciate when other artists do it. It's just not something that I normally do. And I really wanted to get that messiness that she has with her hair, like all the uh, flyaways and stuff like that. I love the way she does her hair. Um, it was just a little difficult because the hair is so put together, and if you see on my reference picture that I have to the right, she's got like the two pigtails that are like separate from the base hair that's covering uh, her forehead or her face and stuff like that. And so it was kind of hard to get the shape of the hair right, and I, I don't think I got it too wrong, but not too right. It's like somewhere in the middle. <laughs> And I also tend to make my mouth super small, so when she makes her mouth super small, I'm like, yeah, I do that. <laughs> Next up is a YouTuber artist who I found about a year ago, I think, and I just love everything they do, and that is Dehactrix. And honestly, if anyone ever asks me, like, how do you shade with, like, just, like, black lining and stuff like that, I would just send them to this guy's page, because it, it, it is like the perfect mixture of like these really really detailed lines and this like dark black shading it's like comic book style almost and i absolutely adore it i love doing this one because i do like line art more than i like coloring and this um this one was very line art heavy especially with all the black shading that i had to do and um i actually muted most of the colors like a lot because i noticed in a lot of his uh at the time when I was getting the uh, reference images for this one, I noticed that in a lot of his drawings, uh, the tones are very like muted. Like it's not a bright pop of yellow, you know, it's more uh, grungy, almost like ground, brown and yellow, as if it came from the dirt and stuff like that, you know? And I absolutely adore doing this one. It's definitely the standout one from all the others, especially with Lavender Towns and Dollies looking more cartoonish, and the one on the fourth being uh, a little different. <laughs> and then mine. <laughs> but it's like, it's definitely the one that stands out the most, and I absolutely adore doing this one. I think the thing that was most surprising to me were how simple the eyes were. Because usually <laughs> people like to add like a bunch of sparkles in the eyes and stuff like that. And I, I like a sparkle here and there, but it's like the eyes were so simple. And I think because it was a more realistic style, it wasn't like super realism, but it was more realistic style. And I, I just really like doing this one, so yeah. And last but not least is one of my favorite digital painters on YouTube is Honk. Oh my god, I absolutely adore the way this gal colors faces. Okay? The way she paints the faces, it's just like, oh, I love it. And she almost every single time adds freckles, and I'm like, yes, thank you, I need me some freckles. I love freckles. They're like one of my favorite things. Like, um, on Dolly's original uh, reference, the one that Ferocity made, she didn't have freckles. Like, there, you couldn't really see them if she did have them, but <laughs> I, I wanted to add freckles because I just thought it would be um, really cute. And, uh... Hulk is one of the only ones who like really adds freckles besides um, Lavender Town uh, to her designs, and I'm just I love that. 
I wanted to spend a lot of time on the face because I feel like uh, with the because I was actually watching a few of Honk's speed paints while I was doing this so that I could kind of get a reference on what I should do and stuff like that and I wanted to spend a lot of time on the face because she spends a lot of time on the face especially when she's doing like single portraits um, but at one point uh, you'll actually see this later on but at one point I started doing her clothes and I finished it and then I scrapped it <laughs> because I thought it looked absolutely terrible. The way it looks now, I still think there's something off about it. Like, it doesn't look like how Honk does hers, but it technically is very similar because Honk puts so much effort into like the skin and the face and the hair and stuff like that. And it's just doesn't, I wouldn't say they don't put a lot of effort, but it's like the clothes are a lot more simple than the rest of the design. And especially with the speed paint that I was watching. It just looks weird, I think, for me. It doesn't look ex like the face looks very similar to her, but the body does not. <laughs> and I really hate that. I really hate that uh, distinction between the two. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> but I did, um, I did spend a lot of time on that freaking face. And uh, with, with my tablet doing its thing and being like, hey, I'm not going to work for 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it can get a little frustrating. But I definitely, I, I love this one. And I love how I did the visor in the end. Like, I didn't, I didn't even ask Ferocity to like add a visor to this character. I was just like, hey, uh, these are a few characters that I still have to design for my story. Uh, pick whichever one you like. Um, you know, da 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 da. Uh, these are their backstories. <laughs> and it was so amazing to me how Ferocity was able to uh, kind of link their design with all my other characters' designs. Because if you guys know Ion, he also has a visor of, of almost like the same quality, just uh, clear instead of orange. And just the hair works so perfectly. And if you guys like see the reference picture, the dress is amazing. And they're a dove. And I just, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm geeking out over the design because I love the design so much. But yeah. And that's my art style versus the four YouTuber art styles that I decided to do for this video. I had a lot of fun with this one, all things considered with my computer and my tablet f***ing up so much. But I had a lot of fun with this one. And I, I enjoy doing these like little different art style challenges. Of course, when things f work. <laughs> I enjoy doing these little art style challenges and I hope to do maybe a few more in the future. Maybe not sometime soon, but in the future, you know, it'd be fun. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. If you want to see more, check me out on Twitter, Instagram, DeviantArt, and support me on Ko-fi or my new Not Safe for Work Patreon if you guys are willing. But thank you all so much for watching. This is Purple Zebra signing off, calling for a blackout. <laughs>